welcome back to this optics and modern physics course uh, we are uh, seeing unit number 3 that is electromagnetic theory uh, we have seen maxwell's first equation in our lesson number 1 so in this lesson we will see uh, the second and third maxwell's equation so let's see the objectives of this particular uh, unit uh, to derive maxwell's equations and explain their significance in electromagnetic theory to describe propagation of electromagnetic wave in free space and dielectric medium to explain boundary conditions and pointing theorem and in this lesson uh, we will discuss maxwell's second and third equation and we will uh, uh, see the significance and applications of maxwell's equation so we have seen maxwell's first equation if you remember it is del dot e is equal to rho by epsilon naught where rho is the charge density so maxwell's second equation is uh, based on biot-savart's law uh, if we consider current flows through the wire then magnetic field is developed around that wire and the magnetic induction at any point p is given by db is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi ideal sin theta upon r square so here we have considered db is the magnetic induction at point p so dl is the small length element that we have considered r is the position vector towards that point p from that length element theta is the angle between that position vector and that length element so uh, if we want to find out the total magnetic field then uh, we have to uh, then uh, we have to find out uh, we have to take the integration but before that let's multiply by a unit vector and that unit vector is given by r vector upon r so that obviously gives us a unit vector so this uh, when we multiply this our equation becomes mu naught upon 4 pi ideal cross r vector upon r cube so the as i told you the total uh, magnetic field is given by integration so integration db is equal to b that is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi since it is constant we have taken outside uh, and integration ideal upon r ideal cross r upon r cube here i is the total current that we have considered and that can also be taken outside the integral so here uh, we have got our equation uh, b is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi i integration dl cross r upon r cube r cube is the magnitude and hence we can write in common or we can write it as a denominator of r vector also uh, so here if we take the divergence of that equation then del dot b is equal to mu naught into i as i told i is the total current so we have taken it outside the integration upon 4 pi integration del dot dl cross r upon r q so we have identity uh, of dot uh, product of a cross product using that identity we can write del dot dl cross r vector by r cube is equal to b vector that is r vector upon r cube dot del cross dl minus dl dot del cross r by r cube now this del cross dl dl is the length element and hence it is not curling uh, and therefore this cross pro this uh, cross product or this curl becomes zero so when it becomes zero uh, our equation since it is independent of coordinates of p it becomes zero our equation becomes del dot dl cross r by r cube is equal to the remaining quantity second quantity so it is equal to minus dl into del r cube when we solve this r by r cube is nothing but uh, the gradient of 1 upon r so now it is minus dl into del cross gradient of uh, r 1 upon r but curl of a gradient is again 0 and this is equal to 0.
So del dot B is equal to mu naught upon 4 pi integration this and this, this divergence is equal to 0. First quantity is also 0, second quantity is also 0 and therefore this del dot B is equal to 0. That means divergence of magnetic field is 0. So here this is the second Maxwell's equation del dot B is equal to 0. So here is the reflection spot for you. What is the significance of Maxwell's second equation? Can you tell? You can pause the video, think over it and uh, you can give the answer. So the significance of Maxwell's second equation is magnetic monopole do not exist. How do we get this answer? As I told, when del dot B is equal to 0, divergence of magnetic field is 0. And when the divergence of magnetic field is 0, that means magnetic field is not diverging, so it is not spreading. That means monopole do not exist. So, in other words, the amount of magnetic flux originated from one point always reaches to the other point without any divergence or without any change. That means magnetic monopole do not exist. They always present uh, exist in two poles and thus the magnetic field requires N pole and S pole. So always they are in dipoles. And thus, the significance of this uh, Maxwell second equation is that magnetic monopole do not exist. Magnetic field is always present in dipoles. Uh, so, here, let us see the Mag Maxwell's third equation now, which is based on Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Uh, the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction states that the EMF around a closed path is equal to negative of rate of change of magnetic flux. So, EMF around a closed path is equal to minus or negative of rate of change of that is rho by dot T of magnetic flux which is given by phi. So, our equation we have got is EMF equal to minus dou phi by dou t where phi is the magnetic flux but uh, we know the definition of emf before that let's consider this is the closed wire current flows through this closed wire that means it is curling around that particular wire now consider a small length element dl and when the current flows through that small length element dl uh, certain magnetic field is developed around that closed wires and so on so magnetic flux also develop okay uh, so consider a point p around that uh, particular length element now uh, the work done current flows that means charge is flowing in this particular uh, charge is flowing through this particular length element work done in taking unit positive charge through this length element dl is given by e into dl force into displacement so e into dl this work done is nothing but emf this is the definition of emf so this emf is equal to this e into dl now the total work done the dl is a small length element the total work done is given by integration so total work done in taking unit positive charge once around the circuit is given by integration e dot dl since it is closed path we have taken uh, the closed line integral so this work done is nothing but emf so integration e dot dl is equal to emf as per faraday's law of electromagnetic induction this emf is equal to minus d phi by uh, dt or dou phi by dou t uh, so we can equate these two equations emf uh, is equal to d phi minus d phi by dt is equal to integration e dot d L. So, now we get this particular equation. So, using Faraday's law, this EMF is equal to this as I told uh, minus dou phi by dou t is equal to integral uh, E into dl. Uh, now, if we consider B is the magnetic flux density, uh, since this closed path encloses surface, this flux density we have to consider as a surface density. Uh, the total flux enclosed by the surface is given by integration B into 
ds as i told uh, surface we have to consider so integration b dot ds uh, now if we put this uh, phi into this equation then we get emf is equal to integration e dot dl is equal to minus dou phi by dou t uh, minus dou by dou t of phi phi is integration b dot ds now as you can see on this left hand side there is closed line integral on right hand side there is surface integral so now we have to use stokes theorem to convert this closed line integral into surface integral by taking curl so using stokes theorem we can write uh, e into dl is equal to uh, surface integral of del cross e into ds so put this we will put this equation here and then we get integration over surface del cross e into ds is equal to this minus dou phi by, minus dou by dou t of b into ds now both these integrals are now surface integral so we can equate the integrands and when we equate the integrands our equation becomes del cross e is equal to minus dou b by dou t this is maxwell's third equation so we have got our maxwell's third equation now that is del cross e is equal to minus dou b by dou t let me again repeat first equation it is del dot e equal to rho by epsilon naught the second equation is del dot b is equal to zero and the third equation is del cross e is equal to minus dou b by dou t so this is the third equation we will see maxwell's fourth equation in our next video before that let's see some of the applications of this electromagnetic induction that is maxwell's third equation so majority of the electric appliances uh, that uh, uses electromagnetic field they are based on this but or electromagnetic induction they are based on this uh, third law maxwell's third law or faraday's law so you can see electric clamp is there electric generators uh, electromagnetic forming um, um, magnetic flow meters hall effect sensors induction cooking induction motors induction welding ceiling and so on then near field communication also requires this particular induction of electric and magnetic field which is based on this again faraday's law uh, remote charging and other things so uh, various uh, applications uh, you can find in our day-to-day -day life of this electromagnetic so we'll see a fourth maxwell's equation in our next uh, video thank you